Let's sit and meditate for a few minutes before the blessing. Allow your mind to settle down. As the world spins around you, you don't have to spin along with it. We'll have a lot of new people coming today, and there'll be a lot of activity. As this person goes in that direction, that person goes this direction. And you can see them go, but you don't have to go with them. You can think of it as being like the, the eye of a storm. When I was a child, we had two hurricanes that came through where we were living. The second hurricane came right over us, the eye. It came in, it was very, very still, even though the hurricane was quite strong. And it's good to think of your mind as being like that. The world can spin around as fast as it was, but you don't have to spin along with it. And that way you can see what's going on, and you're in a much better position, both for your own sake and keeping your center, and for the sake of others. You don't get frazzled, you don't get pulled along. So try to have a sense of where in the body is your center, the spot where you can be sensitive, and know when something has come up in the mind. A good spot may be down around the tip, tip of the, the breastbone, or it can be in the base of the throat, any place where you're sensitive to tension suddenly appearing, and then you can breathe right through it. You may come, but you breathe right through it, and this way you don't carry it around. The world moves, but your mind doesn't have to move with it. And that's the attitude you should have. That way, by the end of the day, when you're ready to sit down and do formal meditation, the mind is right here. You might think of it as being on a short leash. A lot of people let their mind go on a long leash in the course of the day. It's like having a dog on a long leash. It wanders here, wanders there, wraps the leash around a tree here, or a lamppost there, a bench here. And then to get it to come back, you have to unwind all the places where it's been running around. It takes a long time. All too often we sit down and meditate. You spend the whole hour of the meditation just unwinding the mind from its various preoccupations in the course of the day. But if you keep it on a short leash, you can't wind around anything. Never. When the time comes to meditate, you're right here, ready to do your work. So whichever of those two images helps you, either the short leash or the eye of the storm, try to have that attitude that you're not going to wander away. You're not going to let yourself get pulled away by other people. That way the mind maintains its balance. And when the mind is balanced, then it's more likely to do and say and think the right things, the skillful things things that are good for you and good for other people. So stay in touch with your breath. It's always there. You can always make it comfortable. It may not be comfortable through the whole body, but you can get some part of the body comfortable. Let that be your foundation.